I'm coming to you all from Hastings, Hawke's Bay. Uh, 2003 to 2006, I've been now in I fought the Reo here in Hawke's Bay. Um, it's uh, under the umbrella of, of the one. I don't know if I can tell the one or the one or uh, in no neo yesterday. Uh, one thing I'd, I'd like to emphasize to bring out about the reo is uh, the, the importance of the vowel sounds, the importance of the two symbols, the akairo, which are amata and makaron and kukar and maori. Mm -hmm. this, this two sounds, if put, if put in the appropriate place, in the right place, uh, we get the sound, okay? We get the sound and the meaning of a word, which is we, we put these two symbols in front and on top of a vowel. So that's where our, that's where the meaning of, of the word comes out and sounding. Those are the most important thing I'd like to emphasize you, to tell you all, you know, during my time in Tareo. And, and the Amata and the Makaron are very important. They give us the sound, the meaning of a word. Uh, 2003 to 2006, Wapi uh, Sadly, uh, because our, our numbers were declining, we have to, to finish to close the school. I really enjoyed the, the, this in Tareo, in, in Google and Maori. Uh, those who want to, to learn about Tareo, go, go where Tareo is. Tareo is with the church, with, with the community, with, with go to 21st birthdays. That's where Tareo is being spoken. You got to go there, otherwise you, you don't have the rail. So to learn the rail, go where the rail is. Another, another, another uh, way of learning the rail is to have a cook iron mouth bottle. The rail is in there. It's very simple and easy for you to learn. Yeah. <laughs> 